Hey YouTube, today we are talking about how to propagate your fiddly fig tree and encourage branching at the same time. Okay, so the goal is to turn this two-headed fiddly fig tree into a three-headed fiddly fig tree like this one. As most fiddly figs begin, it starts with one stem. Maybe a year ago, we notched or topped this plant right here. It was a single stem, we chopped it off, and just below it at this leaf node where the leaf connects to the stem, a new branch came out. And then on the back side, another branch came out. And what we're doing now is making it a triple stem plant. Okay, to do this, we're gonna need a clean pair of scissors, some alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. Okay, to start, make sure you sterilize your scissors. So I'm gonna put a little alcohol and clean my scissors. Just like if you were doing surgery, you would not start with dirty tools. So we're gonna do the same to prevent infection on our plant. Next up is to find where we wanna cut. So we wanna leave enough stem that it goes down into our cup of water, but also top the plant exactly where we want it to start growing from. Where we cut, everything beneath that will begin growing and have oxen scent, which are a plant hormone, down beneath it. So if I cut here, everything below this branch will be encouraged to grow, including this other shoot. But the idea here is that another shoot or two, ideally two, will form and we'll have a couple more tops. So we'll convert this two-headed fiddly fig tree into a three-headed fiddly fig tree. I'm gonna start by removing a couple leaves right where I'm gonna cut because they have to come off anyways while it's rooting. As we showed earlier, the new shoots will come out of the base between the stem and the leaf. They'll come out right in this corner typically. So what we wanna do here is cut just about this point so that ideally a shoot will come out here or here or here or anywhere down the branch. And if we cut here, as we discussed, everything below this point is gonna be encouraged to grow. So we're gonna cut here in an angled, motion. We're going to now remove the extra leaves because remember leaves are for photosynthesizing. We want to encourage this plant to just grow roots and try and make sure you cut an area that has active growth on it. And also make sure your plant is watered prior to doing this. You also find that plants that have been recently fertilized with something high in nitrogen will not clone or propagate as fast as something that has been given just water. So we'll leave these three leaves on the cutting and we'll get a glass of water and just pop the stem right into the water and place the cutting somewhere where it gets bright but indirect light. Again, we're not trying to grow new leaves right now. We want the plant to solely focus on rooting. It's important to remember to change out your water ideally every day, but if you have to every two to three days, the objective is to make sure that no decomposition is going on within this water. So use tap water. You can put a few drops of bleach into the water if you're gonna be gone for a few days. That way it'll kill off any pathogens or any disease that's within this water. And if you'd like, it's optional also, just like the bleach, but you can use a rooting hormone on the stalk of your plant or within your water. That'll also help out speed things up, but it's definitely not mandatory. And within about four to eight weeks, you'll start getting little roots off of this. It's just imperative that you change out this water as often as possible, reintroduce that oxygen back into this water and don't let it go stagnant. If it starts looking a different color or smelling bad, clean out the water, change out the jar. The idea is to keep this a sterile environment for the propagation. Now this is the tough part about propagating and encouraging branching. We just chopped off this plant so it's not gonna be super pretty right now but eventually this will become two more heads and this plant will get much bigger, ideally by the end of this summer. So this takes a bit of time. It's gonna be a little bit uglier. It should be well worth it. We do hope this helped you propagate some of your favorite plants. This also works for rubber trees and other plants that grow just like the fiddle leaf fig. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. We do appreciate all of you. We're about 20 away from a thousand. So if we can hit that, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out our next video this coming Saturday.